Hello again, everybody. Welcome to OCVarsity.com. It's time to talk about high school football as we go into week five. I'm Steve Fryer here with colleagues Carlos Arias and Dan Obano. Let's start out with a pretty good game, a couple top ten teams going at each other, and that is San Clemente at La Habra. Great place to see a football game is La Habra. And, uh, you know, La Habra, they like playing these, uh, stepping up, playing the Pac-5 teams. Uh, last week they played Los Al, lost by 15 points. Last year they played San Clemente and La Habra also in back-to-back uh, -back weeks, lost by one touchdown in both games. So we've got another good one coming up here. That's a Friday game at La Habra. Start with you, Danny. What do you like about this game? Who's going to win it? Well, because I got the Hawaiian shirt on today, uh, I obviously, I, again, because I, I usually wear these, right? Yeah. Um, of course, I'm going with San Clemente because I got, you know, I'm right here with the surfer guys. But I'm picking, uh, I'm picking La Habra because uh, I think uh, La Habra is tough to play at home. They're looking to bounce back. I think it's going to be a pretty new experience for San Clemente going up to La Habra and playing where the, the, the stands at the field are close. Uh, the stands are close to the field. It's, it's, a, it's a crowded, tough place to play at La Habra. Yeah. And I think uh, La Habra is going to look to bounce back. But it's important for San Clemente. They're going to have to show that they can play on the road and get a big uh, road victory, which they're going to have to do in the, the very rugged South Coast League. But I think, uh, I think if, if Josh Cazada can run the ball, I think they're going to uh, control that ball and try to keep Chase Reddick off the field. I think La Habra can get this victory. It'll be huge because they're going to – they've been playing Pac-5 Pac teams, but they have not been beating Pac-5 teams. And I think the, the Klan Nation will just be – you know they're, they're going to have that breakthrough signature victory they've been searching for for so long. There's probably people in the stands already right now. Yeah. <laughs> Carlos, you agree? No, I disagree completely. San yeah. Clemente is going to win this game. Chase Reddick is very efficient. He completes like 80% of his passes. Yeah. They have that short passing game. They got, a, I think it's David Espino as yeah, the, the running back. back. Very good. Um, they're fast. Um, I think they're going to win this game. And La Habra, unfortunately, I think it's that thing against the Pac-5 teams. I think it, it's going to happen at, at some point, but not All right, so let's give Friday. out the email address. What, all La Habra fans. <laughs> See Arias at OCRegister.com. <laughs> Of course, La Habra, they lost this game last year, then they won eight in a row, and they won the CIF title. So um, I, I think, think they're going to win another CF title. Just they're okay. not going to be San Clemente. Yeah, I think La Habra is going <laughs> to win that Southwest division. But Who are you I, picking? Oh, I'm picking San Clemente. Okay. In a pretty darn good okay. game. Uh, yeah. It's going to be a very close game. Uh, you know, nothing against La Habra. I mean, they're, that's a fantastic program they got going over there. And, you know, big credit for them for stepping up and, and playing the Pac-5 teams and, and challenging right. themselves and seeing what they can do. Me and Dan are going to go takedowns right now. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Okay, Thursday, mm -hmm. we've got a really good one on the, on the schedule, too. And that's Narbonne of Harbor City, which just beat Orange Lutheran last week in that double overtime thriller. And they're playing Los Alamitos. And Los Alamitos, great defense. So this is a fantastic matchup. Narbonne's got this great receiver, exciting guy to watch, Sean Parker, going to USC, and he's going to challenge that Los Al defense, but I like the way Los Al gets after the quarterback, so I still, I think Los Al's going to take this one. Well, not only is Sean Parker a great receiver, he was the one who had the interception in overtime. Yes. Uh, he's a great defender. They've got athletes all over that field. I'm, I'm talking speed, I'm talking playmakers. They're not deep, but they got some players. We're going to see a lot more about Sean Parker because uh, Shaq Rick Richardson, the outstanding Ooh, quarterback yeah. at Los Alamitos is going to get up on the line and he's going to uh, bump and run and he's going to be a blanket on Sean Parker. And I think Shaq Richardson, he remains one of Southern California's, you know, most underrated players. And I think Shaq Richardson, when he wants to play and he's going to step up and he loves a challenge, he, he's going to uh, make a, night, a very night, uh, a tough night for, uh, for Narbonne. And they got a great secondary. They got uh, Los Al, the, you know, the fast and furious defense. They got the three shutouts. And then they held La Habra to uh, 13 points. So their average is 3.2 points a game so far in, in, in four games. And I think uh, the, ever, uh, the other uh, cornerback for Los Al, Hayden Fielding, he's outstanding. And we know about Josh Brute and Robert Watson at safety. Yeah, they're studs. Uh, safety. So oh. I think Los Al is going to get this victory, and they're going to they're gonna continue to show that they got the best defense in Orange County. Here's one more, one more guy to keep an eye on, C.J. Wiley. He cut both of the touchdowns in overtime. Um, for Narbonne? Play, for Narbonne, yeah. yeah. Big-time playmaker. I mean, they threw one just a little screen. He weaved in and out of the entire defense to get into the end zone. So that's another guy they got to keep an eye on. We're going to hit one more real quick, and that's Irvine Cypress. Very interesting game. Uh, Irvine's got that fantastic freshman running back, Devontae Young. And it's Coach Terry Hennigan's last year with Irvine, right, Dan? 
That's right. After all these years, four-time CIF championship coach, Terry Hennigan, last year, going back to a school where he uh, used to be the head coach. People maybe, the young, or some of our younger viewers might not know that Terry Hennigan was once the head coach at Cyprus. And who did he coach at Cyprus when he was there? He coached Ray Fenton, the, the outstanding <laughs> yeah, coach, okay. uh, former county stuff. coach of the year already at Cyprus, who's doing a great job. Yeah, you mentioned Devonta Young. He's coming off 245 yards against Northwood. Uh, big victory, you know, city rivalry for Irvine. How about the Keeley Muhammad at Cyprus, the kid who returned two kickoffs for touchdowns against Modern Day? That's outstanding stuff. That's the kind of information you're only going to get here at ocvarsity.com. All the uh, Orange County football that's going on this week. All the got day. a good week. You know, a lot of teams are taking the buys, but we still got some fantastic games. We'll have all that going on here and all the other fall sports, water polo, cross country, girls volleyball, everything else at ocvarsity.com where we've got you covered.